T is a factory made bar weld end rod fittings and available from half inch to 48 inch size having dimensions as per ASME B16.9. Commonly used D material is as per ASTM A234 grade WPB for carbon steel T and ASTM A403 grade WP304 or WP304L or WP316 for stainless steel T. T can be equal T for same size branch connection and can be reducing T for lower size branch connection. Reducing T's are available up to size half of header size less one size. That means for 20 inch header size reducing T is possible up to 20 inch by 8 inch size. That means half of 20 inch less one size. That means 10 inch minus one size that means 8 inch. Similarly for 4 inch header size reducing T is possible up to 4 inch by 1 and half inch size. Similarly, 48 inch by 22 inch reducing T is possible. Same philosophy is applicable for reducer also. If we want to have 48 inch by 16 inch branch connection and we cannot replace the T by direct branch connection, then we have to go for a T and a reducer. Say 48 inch by 24 inch T and 24 inch by 16 inch concentric reducer. Thickness of T is same as matching pipe. Hence, no separate thickness calculation is required for a T. T's are used for high pressure and high temperature critical service where butt welding is necessary and radiography requirement is there. Also, due to the curved shape of the T branch, less stress is generated at T branch and SIF means stress intensification factor of a T is very low. So, branch connection with a T can take more piping load and moment and chance of failure is less. Where cyclic operation is there, that means temperature changes in a cyclic manner, but will T connection is must. This is an equal T and due to this curve shape, branch is very strong and less stress is generated. If header pipe is of seamless construction, then T should be of seamless construction. If header pipe is of welded construction, then T should be of seamless type or welded type. That means pressed and welded type. Second option is making pipe to pipe direct branching either reinforced or unreinforced. This sketch is for a reinforced branching with RF pad. If we do not provide this RF pad, then the branch is unreinforced branch. Pipe to pipe direct branching is applicable for branch size of 2 inch and above. In case of direct branching, we have to perform two checkpoints. One checkpoint is branch calculation from internal design pressure point of view as per ASME B31.3 and another checkpoint is whether the branch is safe from pipe stress point of view. First, we should consider direct branching without any RF pad, that means unreinforced branching. If it is okay from internal pressure and pipe stress point of view, then no problem. Otherwise, we have to go for branching with RF pad, that means reinforced branching. It may happen that reinforced branching is found safe from internal pressure calculation but it fails in pipe stress analysis. Then we have to go for butt weld NT. For same size branching it is not possible to provide RF pad. So if direct branching is not safe then we have to provide an equal T. Unreinforced or reinforced branching can be used for high pressure and high temperature service up to 50 bar pressure if it meets both the requirement of internal pressure consideration and pipe stress consideration. Due to straight fillet welding at branch, more stress is generated at branch point because SIF means stress intensification factor of butt welding is 1 whereas 
SIF for fillet welding is 1.3. That means 30% more stress is developed in direct branching. Hence, direct branch connection cannot take more piping load and moment and chance of failure is high. Where cyclic operation is there, that means temperature changes in a cyclic manner, direct branching should be avoided. This is an 8 inch by 3 inch unreinforced branching without RF pad and this is a reinforced branching with RF pad.